Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. It is Full Lid Friday. We got Sam right here hanging out today. Everybody loves Sam. I'll bring him over a little bit later for some snug sessions because everybody loves snug sesh with Sam. Uh, we got a lot to cover today, some stuff going on. We're gonna just get into the news, the highlights, family vloggers, all that kind of stuff. And we're gonna roast Daniel. So it became my favorite thing to do. <laughs> we're gonna be doing it today. Um, it's gonna be fun. So let's get to it. Before I do that though, We've got a ball for one of my Patreons. Let's get into it. Violet Reese. This one's for you, Patreons. Oh. Sam knows I suck. Let's get to it. All right, everybody, if you didn't know, my Patreon's get a ball thrown. So if you wanna go support me on Patreon, I don't do much over there. I'm, I have a plan to do something soon where I'm gonna 3D scan the studio and put videos in just for my Patreons and for my YouTube uh, subscribers. So I, I keep saying I'm gonna do that, but I keep not doing it because I'm lazy. If you wanna support me in anything that I do here, you can head over to Ko-Fi and buy me a coffee. Um, you can go to Teespring below and buy a t-shirt. And I've got a brand new item for everybody that everybody's gonna want. I put it on my Instagram, I put it on my YouTube, whatever it's called, community page. It's the DCP swearing pillow. And it's one of the most important items I've ever made in the in the spring below. The link is below for the pillow. You get the pillow, you put it up your face, and you swear things like, I hate family vampires. And, Stop exploiting your kids, asshole. Things like that. It's really important. It helps you to get out all that energy, the negative built up, pent up energy. Important thing to get. So if you want to go ahead over there and get those pillows, let me know when you get the pillow. Please make sure you Instagram all the swear words and we'll, we'll make a little compilation. Very excited about that. Um, also, you can head over to Patreon and you want to support me over there and you can join this channel and you get like cool like emojis and shit. It's really, it's cool. Everybody likes emojis. No, let me fix this. Let me fix this. Man, the stash. Needs to be COVID fixed. My wife cut my hair, she can tell. <laughs> anyway, uh, I appreciate her because she cut my hair and I needed a haircut. Can't get one during COVID. Anyway, there's lots going on today. Let's get right into it. Full lid Friday. What is happening? So first things happening is kind of, we got to talk about the election, the inauguration, everything kind of went down um, and COVID and all that kind of stuff happening. Regardless of what you believe about what happened um, on January 6th, terrible, obviously crazy, Likely a lot of people said it was Trump who did it and whatever. I'm not going to argue with that. What I'm going to argue with is that when you bring 25,000 troops into your, you know, into D.C., you probably shouldn't let them, you know, sleep under a parking garage. They got booted out of the uh, Capitol building's cafeteria area where they were all staying because the, ca the, the police, the Capitol City police didn't want them there anymore. And they got booted out to a parking garage, over 5,000 troops, one bathroom, one outlet. I'm just saying, and a lot of the arguments are being made on Twitter is like, well, that's what they're trained to do. Well, yeah, if they're in like a third world country fighting for our rights, right? Not when they're in a, you know, an area where we're on lockdown and you can get them in hotels and pay for that. I just, I, I that one really, really, really bugged me is that these men and women are serving and they're forced to sleep in an underground parking garage for what? A lot of politicians were making, you know, getting photo ops of them, shaking hands, saying thanks, and they booted them out of the building. Updating the world of family vloggers. So what's going to come up soon is we're going to be talking about I think this coming week and weekend is going to be literally focused a lot of on like the harder ones I'm gonna do one called uh, the the I'm definitely covering Priscilla Moss this weekend She's away right now during COVID in a crazy world. We live in traveling for her lipstick lime life shit bullshit MLM how she uses her daughter with autism and the platform they built to sell MLM products to people. And we all know how MLMs are the worst thing in the world, right? They are one of the worst things because they are predatory to those who they target, right? And they specifically target people that are vulnerable, okay? I know that I know that the people that follow Priscilla Moss, generally they're followers, the one million followers on YouTube, and are one million followers on Facebook and tons on, on YouTube. A lot of those people are in a, a vulnerable world that they live in. A lot of them have autism or live in a state where they don't have a ton of money. They follow them for inspiration. And we're gonna get into the crazy stands because there's some nuts things going on with the Moss Squad and it's gonna get crazy when we watch that one. Anyway, all that to say is that they're using a predatory practice towards people who are vulnerable. 
which is most MLMs anyway, and is not, and she is like not afraid to go target those people in those groups. And so we're going to talk about that this weekend because I don't think, I think she's terrible. And so, and the next one we're going to do on fathering autism is going to be the, uh, the, it's, it's, it's going to be like, I hope to make a really, really extensive video called the exploitation of Abby Moss. And it's the more I dig into this family, the more I get crazy upset with the amount of exploitation that this little girl's going through. Okay, just mind blowing. And when I lay it all out for you in a timeline, and I lay it all out for you the way I normally do, I can't, you guys, of all the things I've ever done, of all the things I've ever laid out in a, in a position, the, the exploitation of Abby Moss is going to be one of the most egregious things you guys have ever seen as I'm putting this together. I've never seen anything like this. And we, I cover Micah Stoffer, who rehomed an adopted kid from China. Okay. This almost on that level is worse. Okay. Because there is somebody that will never be able to give expressed consent. Okay. There's someone at the center of this that is being exploited in so many ways that she shouldn't be exploited. And then you've got this family who's just living a high life off the exploitation of a daughter. Like there's, they have nothing without her. That's the craziest part. So we're going to get into that this coming week. It's going to be, I just, I get so upset the more I go down their, their views. Another video coming up and I've had a lot of people on the problem with dad challenge dash the DCP Facebook group helping me with, we're going to, this week, we're going to probably unload every single clickbait video in it's our life's collection. Okay. Like un believable the amount of clickbait and sometimes they have a clickbait title that has nothing to do the video doesn't say anything about the title at all like they are the king and queen of clickbait okay and um but there's one thing i also want to do when it comes to vlogs and hopefully soon is i'm going to start covering things like uh where is it a video i want to compile and I, i'm going to get some more people to help me with all that uh, just because you guys are awesome at helping and it takes so long to go through hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of videos. So I've got that team at Problem with Family Vloggers, that's the DCP Facebook group. A lot of people are joining to help. And I have these spreadsheets being created where we're going through every single video. So we're gonna compile these like, you know, best hits of dumbassery. One of the compilations I wanna make is family vloggers who use their kids getting hurt or going to the hospital or sickness and illness. Um, and instead of being parents, they pick up the camera like this bullshit right here that's going on. So she's vlogging on her computer. She's talking and something happens and watch what happens. You need it. Oh, my God. First of all, I will roast Daniel in a minute, but Daniel puts the camera down. Cannot even look. She doesn't want to look. She doesn't want to look. She doesn't want to look. Kids have got the, the anxiety ears. You know, the anxiety ears. They put their hands up to their ears. Daniel's going to pick up the kid. Who picks up the camera? Because you have to pick up the f***ing camera. Your kid is literally screaming. Daniel's a tattoo. That's crazy. I didn't know that. Badass. Um, and so he picks up this kid. And of course, this video's clickbaited. Somebody smashed their head in the ground. They clickbait the title. Dad's the only one. Watch this. See how he looks at her right there? That is how I would look at my wife, too. If she, the first thing she did was sit, kept sitting on the chair and then picked up the camera that I put down to go pick, to go see my kid. Okay? This is the problem here. Is it busted? Is it busted? But he was running and he slipped and pushed. Again, saying the word is it busted while I grabbed the camera. The kid just fell on the ground. Look, let's be real. Kids fall on the ground all the time. That he probably has a bump on his head. Let's, is it busted? Again, her first inclination is to say, how can I make this sound worse than it probably is for this vlog so that when we put the title in, which is kid falls on head, watch, well, I think I did that one actually. <laughs> we were all so scared he fell on his head. Again, just absolute and utter clickbait garbage. But I want to give props to Daniel here for being the parent. And I said this before, and I'm going to roast him in a minute. That's because, you know, we just have to have, have some fun here. It's been a negative day. But shame on Kendall for being this person. For the instant thing, Daniel puts the camera and you pick it up to continue filming. When families have to do this, this is where this gets a little bit crazy. This is another part of this whole family vlogging world that I absolutely effing hate, is that they will use anything for content, anything. And the kids are the ones at the center of this thing. And they're the ones who don't get the consent to this being out there to the world. Even though that's not such a big deal, you fell on your head, whatever, it is what it is. But like, damn it. So Kendall. So let's get into it. So Daniel, you know he totally farts in elevators, right? Just like crop dust and then leaves. But only when it's getting to the floor. Nobody's in the elevator. And then when he gets off, someone walks in and he runs down the hall. He definitely drinks tea. He whittles. Like, 
whittles. Definitely goes on hikes. He went to youth group for girls. Has an ergonomic office chair. Like, it's like 10 grand. Uses orthotics, but doesn't need them. Height bump. Reuses Ziploc bags. Organizes the Tupperware drawer. Watches Hallmark movies. Makes forts. Wears matching shirts to Disney. Calls his kids a-holes to their face, but tells strangers they're amazing. Eats plain rice cakes. Goes to Walgreens two hours before it opens, just in case of line. Does his own taxes. Nerd. Does not courtesy flush in public bathrooms. Really? Leaves a tiny bit of milk in the container. Puts it back in the fridge. Leaves all of the lights on in the house. Calls the police on his neighbors for having bonfires. True story. Doesn't change the toilet paper roll. Puts the toilet paper on like this. Only cuts one end of the milk bag. <laughs> Physics. Pours his milk before his cereal. <laughs> okay, Silence of the Lambs. Throws batteries in the garbage. Has heated floors in Florida. Thinks Friends is the best TV show. Has lukewarm showers. Eats plain McDonald's hamburgers. Eats plain toast. Nothing on it. Thinks $15 minimum wage is a bad thing. Doesn't say thank you to anyone. Except his wife on Friday nights. Wears tall socks with his shorts and sandals. Calls bylaw on his neighbors when they park on the street. Calls a toque a hat. Calls a bunny hug a hoodie. Weirdo. Writes in cursive. Favorite song? Stacy's mom has got it going on. Thinks Mrs. Doubtfire was a bad movie. Overshares his life with complete strangers at the bank. Wears his pants just a little, just a touch too high. Just, just a little bit. Still plays Game Boy. Thought the last season of Game of Thrones was the best one. <laughs> no. Hates cats. Says, that thing's not going anywhere when he straps down anything. Sucks at Mario Kart has a metal detector. So do I. Wakes up early so he doesn't have to talk to his wife. Hates Christmas music. <laughs> I'll throw hands. Favorite jelly bean? Black. <laughs> Favorite ice cream? Pistachio. <laughs> Peels his skin from sunburns and eats it. Sends his kids to school with peanut butter sandwiches and complains when they get in trouble. Blames video games for the state of the world. Pops zits on a mirror. Favorite food? Boiled potatoes. Likes blue cheese. <laughs> Pees in the bath. Says he's allergic to gluten. Is not allergic to gluten. Puts ketchup on his mac and cheese. Holy shit. Thinks girls pee from their vagina. <laughs> <laughs> likes, to, likes to stick his finger in his belly button and smell it. <laughs> Farts naked on a hardwood floor. Me too. Puts the seat down after he pees. Eats coleslaw? Burns everything he cooks in the barbecue. Just chill. Says his dad can beat up your dad. Flexes with his new lawnmower. Gets separate checks when going out to eat with anyone, even his own family. Thinks casual Fridays are inappropriate. This is a place of work, people. Holds his phone like this to read texts. All right, let's continue, shall we? Hey, there's Sam. He wants to come say hi. There he is. Nope, 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 no, 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 nails. Ow, ow. Sam, your nails. Ow. There we go. So there's our weekly Sam Snugs. Hey, buddy. So, uh, yeah, so we did what's coming, what's going on. We burned Dan, we roasted Daniel, that's important. Um, yeah, I wanted to just cover this one thing that's going on. This anti-influencer culture, just crazy what's happening. Hey, buddy, do you want to say hi? Mm, my buddy, my buddy Sam Sam. There you go. Oh, oh, yep, the nails. The nails are sharp. The nails. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Sam's Chocolate Starfish. Sam, you gotta be more modest, bro. Okay. I wanted to cover this one thing. There's this, like, this, maybe this might be something we go down to a little bit, um, but there's been this crazy thing, uh, this, the, the, like, the tennis world or something. I don't know what's happening. Just, it's bugging me. Oh. <sighs> Sam, you need to, you need to be shaved, bro. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, flip your ear, buddy. Everybody says Sam is really fat. He's really not. That. He just, the way he sits. Look at him. He's not, come here. The way he was sitting. He's a normal cat. <laughs> Did I tell you guys I'm severely allergic to cats? But here's the thing. Look at him over there. 
playing with Roni under the door. I'm not allergic to my cats. I've had my cats for over, I don't know, Sam's almost 14 now. I'm not allergic to their dander, but if I see another cat and they like even look at me, my eyeballs go Poof. I'm like, I'm like a zombie. I can't drive like crazy, but I'm not allergic to my cats, even though the hair is everywhere. Roni wants to come say hi, everybody. Hi, Roni. Hi, buddy. Wouldn't be a dad challenge podcast without a roast and some snark on a video. So in the world of influencer culture, okay, we got tennis players. I forget the guy's name. Uh, her name is, anyway, the girl's name is Vanessa Sierra. She's got 11,000 subscribers. She's an OnlyFans model. The thing about these guys is that these tennis players and all these guys and the athletes, they just, they kind of date these girls. I don't know why. I don't, here's my thing. And I don't want to shame anybody, but I would not want my girlfriend or wife or whatever to like have a, a account where everybody can just go see you naked. I, I'd, I'd call me old fashioned, but anyway. This is not about that. This is about her being utterly ridiculous during a global pandemic. So she says, life in the Australian open player bubble. Imagine your only thing to offer the world is your looks. And that's why guys date you. So, but that's what we're going to dig into. Let's get into some snark, shall we? Because this one is bad. That one you was A. Which one? This one's, this, that this one's one. affordable. Oh, there's a helicopter. Like, is this not the biggest flex? She's like, look, I'm an OnlyFans. I have 11,000 subscribers. Probably has like hundreds of thousands on Instagram. Um, and they're taking a private plane. Morning, YouTube. It's... <laughs> they have money, right? The guy's probably a millionaire tennis player. Just hire an editor. You girl Vanessa Sierra and welcome back to my vlog quarantine edition. Well, I've got you guys here. Please make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Don't. Oh my god. The ratio is 835 thumbs down to 204 thumbs up. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna get into some comments here in a minute. Okay, this is amazing. Yes, we found a gold mine. Clean your shit. Like, I get it. You're in a vlog. Clean your room. You're in a hotel. Get someone to clean it. It's day two in quarantine, and this is my beautiful home for the next two weeks. Can't be. Could you imagine the smell? Bothered getting up. This is our room. A lot of space for activities, as you can tell. This is two single beds in one. It's just rude. Aww. Cue sad music. I'm sorry you had to sleep on two single beds put together. Will you be okay? Do you need a hug? Do you need someone to send you, you know, Instagram influencer coins for something? I'm sad for you. Please be okay. Please be okay. <laughs> Finn. Dumbass. It's really shitty because when you sleep on it, I just fall in the gap. I don't know why. Something tells me she falls in many gaps. I, my body just gravitates to it every night and I just end Your body gravitates towards where the thing goes in? My, yeah, that's good. Good, good. Yeah. End up in like this little hole. We just order Uber Eats. We don't actually eat their food because it's shit. Oh my god. It's a hotel. How can the food be shit? My boyfriend. This guy hates her. He's like, oh, I can't believe we did this. Like maybe she does fun things and stuff, but I don't know. It's real hit and miss. Sometimes the food's good, sometimes the food's not. So we'd rather just order our own food. It looks all right so far. Berries. Ooh, all right. It's not too bad today. Oh my God. We ordered food. If this guy doesn't break up with her right away after this damn tournament, I he is the, I'm never rooting for him in a tennis match ever. I don't even know who he is, but you, I'm not a fan, bro. This girl needs to go. Good last night. And they didn't tell us that there was no deliveries after 10 o'clock. We ordered like $60 worth of food, got delivered at 11 and they refused to take it. They were like, nope. Cue sad music. I'm sorry you didn't read the rules, dumbass. You ordered something late at night and didn't get it. Are you going to be okay? <laughs> Vanessa! Sierra! I'm so sorry about you! <laughs> Off. It's Finn. So we weren't allowed to eat our food. And also when you do order your food, they have to inspect it and I don't know what the hell they do. By the time the food comes to you, it's so cold. Hopefully they're putting in personality medicine in there. Because you have none of it. How are you going to get Botox and shit when you're out there? I mean... They don't deliver, the Uber does not deliver Botox. Don't order a hot coffee, because by the time it gets to you, it's cold. Don't order a hot coffee, cool. Cool, yeah. That looks delicious. <laughs> Is that the toast they gave you? 
I can't believe this guy. I hope he, lo I, is this tournament going on right now? Cause I hope he, I am gonna be like live stream the tennis tournaments. I hope he gets his ass kicked in tennis. Now it's personal. How can you be this obtuse to the world? How can you be so blind to your privilege? Morning show in the world. 40 minutes ago it got delivered. Mm. And we get the food now. So it's gonna be ice cold. This one's yours. It's got Reheat it, ass face. Caramel in it. This is so much better. This toast is so cold and soggy. Fuck my life. On top. Oh my God. Stop ordering toast then, asshole. Order something you can eat that can be cold. How about that? Instead of just complaining about it the whole time, order something that can come cold and you can eat it or reheat it in your microwave. For the one hour I waited to get the food delivered, 40 minutes from downstairs to upstairs after inspection. Hey, douche canoe, there's a whole hotel of people probably ordering food. Staff can't just wait. This is the this is the grossest thing about this whole thing. Is she's like, what about me? This is the whole world of influencer culture. This is why we need to stop influencer culture. This is what they think because of what do you do? What do you bring into this world, Vanessa? What have you done for this world that has been a good thing? I don't like this girl in not even a little bit. Like, ugh. I've been stuck in this hotel room for two days. I haven't been allowed to leave this. Doesn't even get the days right. Literally zero fresh air, no balcony. Where is there? No. The point of the bubble is you're supposed to stay in the hotel room. During the day, you're allowed out to the training site, to the gym, and to nutrition. I'm not really sure. So you just said you don't get fresh air, but then you get to go out to the train, to the training center. Okay, cool. But there were a couple positive COVID cases on a couple of the planes, and so that's pretty much delayed everything. All of the players who were on those planes... She doesn't even like tennis. She likes money. Are in a hard quarantine for two weeks. They're not even allowed to the training site. Thankfully, there's been no one on our plane. It's really frustrating because we're stuck in this room with no air, no training. To no air. Okay. <laughs> You'd be dead, bish. It's not like we wanted to go to Doha and we wanted to come back. A lot of people are saying, yeah, but... Stop saying we. They're not there for you. He's there because that's his job. Stop saying we. You shouldn't have went then, dumb person your choice to travel and that's why you're in quarantine well we had to leave australia to do the qualifying match to play in the australian open so it wasn't really by cho stop saying we you probably can't even play checkers choice the fact that we have to be in quarantine it's a pretty shitty situation i think this is like he's just like letting her do this sorry dude I am rooting against you. I'm kind of scared that there has been a positive COVID case on our flight and we might not be able to train for the whole time that we are in quarantine. Um, Why do you keep saying we? Is she a tennis player? Maybe she is. I don't think a tennis player would have an oldie fans. Is she saying we? Begging a dear God, that is not the case. But we'll find out soon. And I will keep you guys updated. I'll give you guys a little tour of my Casa quarantine. Does that even make sense? No. Nothing you're saying here makes sense. You, how are you so dumb? Do these people not have like PR consultants and like pe professionals that they work with to say, hey, it's smart to do this shit that I'm about to do? And they would say, no, you are dumb. Hopefully this tennis player is like, sees that you're dumb. I swear I'm going crazy, it's dangerous. This is why you don't date someone just for their looks because this is what you get. Yeah, great, you got arm candy. But then you have to talk to somebody like this and like be around them and shit, so. Ew. This is our view. I'm literally only keeping it open for the vlog. We usually have it. The other day there was media outside taking random photos of us, which is kind of weird because this is a bedroom and they're sitting there with a the camera. So we're not allowed daylight anymore. Because this. How can they take a picture from the street up into your room unless you're sitting against the window? Great invasion of privacy. Love that for us. They don't clean the room. I don't think we get fresh sheets, which is kind of gross because it's like... Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> because the only reason you're there is the things that would make the sheets not livable is what I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying things. I'm saying things. I cracked a blanket in half. Do you get where I'm going with that? Do you? I cracked it in half. Like two weeks in this hotel room. That is our Uber Eats. That is our plates. This is where we wash the plates. <laughs> Here. Yeah, you've never washed anything in your life. As you can see, there is plenty of room. Ew, that towel's brown. Room for us. Also, there is only one bathroom. I have never pooped in front of Bernard. Oh my God. I don't know what I'm gonna do. It's dead. Has she not pooped for three days? Three. I just can't do it in front of him. It's Close the door. Dumbass, what do you mean? Just close the door, are you shitting me right now? 
Literally, are you shitting me? <laughs> It's not part of the, like, I haven't broken that barrier in the relationship yet, and I hope I don't. What, that you have normal biological human things that you do, like take a shit? Are you fucking kidding me right now? Who is this person who would hold their shit in their body for three days because she hasn't broken that part of the relationship yet? That's how, that's, this girl better be gone. I hope his mom is watching this shit and is calling him on the phone and be like, uh, honey, are you effing serious? We raised you better than this. Okay? Lose that. Have to. Shit, they're gonna have a family vlog, aren't they? Damn it! <laughs> it's really not that exciting. I'm gonna just keep going around. Can't really show you guys much more. Oh, look, this is all my cosmetic. At least I can keep my skin looking good. Uh. <laughs> I haven't really been doing much. There's not really any space to train. Like, even if you- What is she talking about training? Like, Kegels? I don't know what she's saying. I wanna do a home workout. Oh. Pretty tight for space, so we're doing like minimal yoga to keep sane, but other than that, like we're not really training or anything, I guess. So- Stop saying training. You are an OnlyFans person. That's why it's really important that we do get to the training site. Like, how do you train for an OnlyFans account? <laughs> I don't know. I just, I don't know. Because you just can't in this hotel room. It's just not feasible. I played mm -hmm. Pokemon for 11 hours straight yesterday and I think 12 hours straight the day before. But I've been playing World of Warcraft for about the same time that I've been playing Pokemon. Man, your life is so hard. In a hotel, you get your food sent to you every day. You're so, <laughs> so sad, but yeah. On today, we're going to download Yu-Gi-Oh! We want to switch it up a little bit. That's pretty much all we've been getting up to in quarantine. Gaming. I haven't really been watching that many movies, but yeah. Thanks. Yeah, nice shorts, sort of bro. Cool. Not. You're a billionaire. Really? That's what you're wearing? We've got as an option. Mom. He went to take a shit. Food. This is our second order of the morning. Second order of the morning. Life is hard for you. So sad. You should have started a career as a singer, not a tennis player. I got a matcha latte because I'm not hungry, but I'd eat a lot. Something tells me she doesn't eat very much. But, like, I mean, don't eat if you're not going to shit for days, okay? You're going to die. Shit's gonna come out your nose. Shitload of food. Oh, that looks good. Yeah. Curly fries. Vegan Benedict. I don't know how they do it, but that looks insane. This time, it didn't arrive cold. We still- Ah, oh, it's almost like you were lying the whole time. Liar. We don't have an update for if we can go training. Guess I'll be sitting here and for- Oh God, my hair. This is the worst part of quarantine. I beg to differ. Worst part of quarantine is you! Ugh. That guy's like, get lost. I don't wash my own hair. I've never washed my own hair. It's never washed your own hair. That's impressive, actually. What? It's just not something that I do. I know. Like the rest of us peasants who wash our hair. Are you fucking kidding me right now? She says, no way. Only have hair. Maybe she needs a blowout. Head over with bits of bish and get a blowout in Hawaii. This is the do it twice a week for me. So you wash your hair twice a week. This is the situation that we're dealing with. So go wash your hair. Fucking dumb. I hate this person. <laughs> what is going on? Look at that. Holy shit. What is going on here? So yeah, I can't. Nothing. You're, it's just hair. I'll wait to get out of quarantine. Just I hope she doesn't have friends. Sounds like she'd be friends with like, who? Who would be, Kendall? Who would be friends with her? Oh my God. So I can get my hair done. It's the simple luxuries in life. We haven't had any update whether we can go train today. So I'll just be staying in here filming and... Holy shit. She's wearing the same thing for three days too. Just saying, little bit of cleaning. Just goes a long way for sexy time. At least I'll be able to make some fire content for my OnlyFans. She can make fire content for OnlyFans. Her boyfriend is in the room. Her boyfriend is cool. I'm just saying. I just, I know that this is, uh, this is low key shaming people who do this, but in a relationship, do you really, like, really? I just, eh, you know? Bye, mate, guys. All right, we got an update. Training's been canceled. Second training in a row that's been canceled. Can you change your clothes? Look, I know I'm not an influencer, I have a lot of money, but just change. Just, please? It's a little kind of shitty that, like, three weeks before a tournament, no one can train. So, yeah. Love that for us. So no one can train though. So everybody's in the same boat. I think other people can train. People after three o'clock. No, I don't know. They're not really telling us what's going on. He doesn't seem to give a shit, lady. Come on. 
which sucks. Anyways, lunch is here. Phew, let's see what they got for us. It's improving every day. Your sushi looks good, mine. Is this the tennis player that made all those demands and then the tennis thing's like, no, F you. <laughs> they went all this stuff and they're like, nah, F you. Yeah, I ain't eating that. That looks nice, actually. So many veggies, yum. That well, looked gross. Well, the food's improving every day, at least. At least I can eat one of the main meals. What are you gonna do, shit in the burrito thing and send it back? I don't get what you're gonna do. Go take a dump, lady. That's probably your problem. You're full of shit. Boom! Roasted! This, the rest. No, no, I just put weird animals on my food. Well, weird animals. I don't... <laughs> don't like it. <laughs> it was mayo in Bernard's food, so... <laughs> mayo. Oh, we have to order food again. We've been spending about $200 a day on food just because we've got dietary requirements that... No, you don't. You don't have any dietary requirements. Just eat shit. That are not really being fulfilled. And I don't really... You're ordering your own food, a-hole! Eat that much anyway. So Who can't eat mayo? Doesn't really bother me. I'll just eat whatever, I guess. But like bananas training, so. So looks like he needs a couple of donuts. We gotta order Uber Eats and make sure this boy's well fed. What are those? Ew! That is our dining table. All right, that's it for today, guys. Thanks. Looks like you eat on your bed. For watching my vlog, our vlog, and don't forget. No, it's your vlog. He doesn't like you subscribe if you're not subscribed don't. yet and let me know what you think of this video oh <laughs> we will let me get that thumbnail oh f crazy. off crazy i don't like her okay let's read some of the comments all right well that was fun right yay Ugh, bernard tomic going against you in this whatever open you're playing in apparently you're not that good anyway so let's Let's root again. I love it when you have like a diehard, when you don't know anything about sports, but there's someone you don't like. So anybody playing against them, you're like, yeah, I don't even know how tennis works. Pretty sure it's like 14 love and then someone wins some shit and tennis balls and shit. It's going to be great to watch this. I'm definitely watching this guy lose. I can't wait. Don't like her. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching the Full Lid Friday. We will see you later for the other videos I'm going to do on Fathering Autism, Priscilla Moss, and uh, the Exploitation of Obby Moss. There's some big videos coming up soon, and I got some other ones coming. Might do a live sometime soon with some guitaring and some chilling. I need that in my life. Everly's got a new song we're working on, too, so very excited all about that. Follow me on Instagram, everybody. Like, subscribe, hit the like button, or don't. I don't really care. But I will see you, and I hope that you have a better day than these people are. I hope that you can just, like... You know, get through it, eating Uber Eats six times a day and stay in the hotel room, playing video games and watching movies. <laughs> I hope that your life is better than theirs. Your life is definitely better than theirs. Can you imagine being with this person? At least you're not this person. So thank your lucky stars. I will see you. Later.